Dear God, please give us the strength and energy to tackle our work tasks with excellence today. Lord, we pray for wisdom and guidance as we navigate challenge and opportunity in our work. Heavenly Father, please bless our work and help us to use our skill and ability to serve others and bring honor to your holy name. Thank you, Father Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Saturday, October 19, 2024. This is Love Word, taking you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah is an evil language. Hallelujah song we never cease for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is the challenges of success. The challenges of success. I mean, first I may find the book of Isaiah 13, verse 6. I read, According to their picture, so where they feel, they were few, and their heart was exalted. Therefore, have they forgotten me? According to their picture, so we are they few, they were few, and their heart was exalted. Therefore, have they forgotten me? Many people pursue success, and that is good. However, being successful has its own challenges. Success has destroyed many people in the past because they will not prepared for their challenges that come with it. Over the next few days, I will be sharing some of the challenges that come with attaining success with you. I may not be able to share all of them with you in this series, but I hope that you will learn which help you prepare for success because you will be successful unto the end in Jesus' name. The first challenge of success is pride. In Genesis 48 verse 1 to 20, the blessing of the firstborn was traversed to Ephraim by his grandfather, and as a result of this, he became greater than his elder brother, Madese. Pride set in, and God kept pleading with him, but he wasn't listening. Then, in Hosea 4 verse 16 to 19, God said that Abraham should be left alone. By the time we get to Hosea 5 verse 9, God say, Abraham shall be desolate. In Revelation 7 verse 5 to 8, when the furious tribe of Israel will be sealed, Abraham was no longer there. The pride that came with Abraham's success ended up destroying him. Proverbs 16 verse 18 says, Rise good before destruction and an earthly spirit before a fall. Therefore, who are down can fear no fall. The higher you go, the more cautious you should be of falling, and that caution should drive you to be more humble as a rise. James 4 verse 6 says, But he gives us more grace, wherefore he said, God resisted the proud, but gives it grace unto the humble. It is only by God's grace that you are able to attain and sustain success. If you become proud, God will withdraw His grace and the success of that will be disgrace. Do you know, the result of it will be disgrace. Don't let God resist you. Don't allow pride into your heart. Do everything to ensure that you don't think of yourself as more important than you really are. Don't look down on others and don't say anything has been too low for you. Let Matthew 20 verse 26 to 28 keep ringing in your head that the one who will be the greatest will be servant of all. Jesus Christ showed us an example of service and humility in John 13 verse 1 to 17. He also told us clearly that this is the way to greatness in God's kingdom. Luke 22, verse 24 to 27. 
below. Seek to serve more than to be served. So that God will continue to lift you all. Seek to serve more than to be served. So that God will continue to lift you all. By then, I want us to read the book of Daniel 4, verse 25 to 35. And our Bible in one year, Mark 15, verse 16. Our he in 23. Take my life and let it be. Take my life and let it be. Our key point for today. No matter how high God lifts you, don't allow pride into your heart. No matter how high God lifts you, don't allow pride into your heart. And I pray everyone will bless you, everyone will guide you through, and everyone will be your way of living. In Jesus' name, Amen. But then, this is love word. Till I come away tomorrow. Don't forget. Subscribe to this channel. Click on the like button. Share with your friends and family. And goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day. And bye for now. God bless you. Happy new day. And happy weekend. Happy Saturday. Okay. Uh -huh.